Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld where we were just considering uh, what we were going to do to expand the base a little bit so I'm thinking I'm going to sort of mine out a little corridor here right And we'll go maybe like all the way down here. And we'd have a room to the side here, maybe. Um, it probably wouldn't be too. Won't be too precise with it at the moment because uh, we're going to have a lot of mining out to do. But the idea will be that there's a corridor going kind of all the way down to here where there will be like a door and we'll have lots and lots of things coming off that corridor and it'll let us into this little bit of the base as well and what I'm thinking is that corridor could actually go all the way up and have an entrance sort of into the work rooms as well that'd be kind of cool so you could go all the way up and down this sort of big long corridor that would be kind of a, a cool, yeah, definitely a cool way to do the base. And then we can do lots of little bedrooms off this corridor. I like it. I like it a lot. And maybe we could, like, um, we could even make the corridor come sort of down here. And, like, have a way in there. And then have some rooms coming off there, littler ones. We could even make them bigger. But I think if we if we start mining that out, then we're going to have some room for some some more interesting places. So maybe even like a corridor sort of there as well. And we could sort of have rooms like this, little five by fives. There, that's nice, isn't it? Five by fives there. That'd be nice, that will. Very nice. Maybe do the same up here. Me sticking out a little bit, but I don't care. If something saps into into there, we'll just have to defend it, won't we? Like we do every time things sap into places. It's just what we do. We go and shoot people in the head. Harry doing well with the blocks there, I think. Uh, some of those are marble as well. She'll be fantastic for this floor. Yeah, what are you doing? Mining slate. Oh, right, okay. You know what? That's going to take ages, so I would much rather you worked on this floor. As much as I love you for mining the slate, definitely would prefer you to work on the floor. Oh, Strumpax is doing some flooring. Fantastic. That's good. That's really good. Caravan is leaving. Oh, that's all right. Shigeko, you're moving quite slow. What have you got? An old gunshot stab scar to the torso. Not a lot I can do about that, but... Ah oh well. What I can do, I think what I need to do here is get some walls put in to make sure that that's all sealed up, because I think these are showing as unroofed at the moment. I think it's because gaps in the base, so that needs to be sorted out. And since we've got blocks coming in left, right and centre, the thing as well with telling them to have a lot of blocks is that A, all the stonework gets done, but B, they start lifting the stone out of places where they've mined it from, which I find very good. I'm thinking as much as I've planned this out, don't really want them making it all right now. They can make the corridor 
that's not a problem but uh, it takes a while to mine things out and that's a lot of mining for me to have asked them to have done so as much as I appreciate you near doing all that mining making the colony nice and big and making bedrooms for everyone what I really kind of need people to do is actually to be working on things like beds see a roof has collapsed because it's too far from any support have we oh you know what we've done I know what we've done we have made something a no roof area yeah this whole, this whole thing is trying to roof itself you need to be a no roof area definitely you need to be a no roof area all of this all of it all of it This whole outside space needs to be no roofed. You need to be orange. There. So there's a couple of bits there. There, perfect. Now it's not going to think it's a, a roof and the roof is not going to collapse. You can make quite big rooms without the roof collapsing though, I have realised. I've also realised I'm making this lovely double wide corridor but I'm thinking we need a triple wide one triple wide ones work a lot better because they're a bit more um, you can put a door in the middle of them and they look a little bit more even in this game uh, oh still not okay eventually they'll get their um, skill up with the, the whole sort of recruiting thing and hopefully then they might actually get someone to come over. There's a small chance each time. One thing I think that might actually work a bit better though is if we make the wardening a little bit more um, restricted. Seven, nine. So I am only going to let Strumfex and Marrow do the wardening. I'm going to put it on a very high priority though. The reason I'm going to do that is so that they can get their skill up, A, and B, because I think you only get a couple of times per day to have a go at, um, what was I going to say, yeah, you only have a couple of times per day to have a go at making them convert. So if you let people who aren't very good at it have that go, then there's less of a chance and we might just be able to sort of... Uh, might just be able to swing it if we have someone skilled enough but these guys are not uh, going to be very easily persuaded any of them unfortunately but then we get a chance on each of them each day I think a couple of chances each day on each of them so that's six chances to bring someone over each day if it's two so that could happen that could easily happen now I was, I was saying I wanted these uh, corridors three wide like this one up here so I need to decide which side I want to do that on. Probably this side. That side up there, definitely. So let us do that. Mine another strip up there, please. Done. Mine that. Done. And probably along this side on there. Oh, they're coming along to clean. Such tidy colonists I have. Their little brooms will be wear worn out. They'll replace the handle ten times and replace the brushes ten times. But it's still the same broom. I wonder if any people who watch British television will get that. My clue will be Del Boy. Right, I'm going to make it so they can pick these things up and dig a couple more graves. Uh, do we have any research queued? We do. Smelting. Right, okay. So X310 clearly has things to do other than researching, which is not too good. What are you up to? Pairing, cleaning... 
basically everything is more important than research, but you know what, that's fine. So we need most things to be important. Right, down we go. Nia is still getting on with all that. Right, I'm going to let them go a bit faster now, um, because I really should have done that ages ago. Unfortunately, they did manage to deconstruct my workbench, uh, research bench, but I was going to kind of do that anyway, because I was going to put the comms console in here, so they kind of did me a favour. <sighs> Keep trying, Marrow. Keep trying. You'll do it eventually. How good is their mood? I mean, they've got an, quite nice rooms, but... Oh, people are sleeping on the floor. This isn't funny. Not enough beds to go around for everyone. So you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine beds. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beds. So we actually are only missing one bed if we use all the medical beds as colonist beds for now. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set them non-medical just for now. And let people have them. Like, for example, why can't X310 just sleep in the hospital? Great idea. Um, who else doesn't have a bed? Cleaner's got one. Marrow doesn't seem to have one, so Marrow, you can have that bed. And then if someone's hurt, I will let them... Yeah, I'll let them have a, a new bed. Right, okay, so then we can make a bed in here. We can just queue that one up. We don't want a steel bed, we want a slate bed. Which I can pop in there. And that'll kind of be in line with the hospital beds. That's why it'll be in that direction. And we will have a door which will go in about there and that will allow the doctor a nice room in with all the bedrooms but also kind of next to the hospital for quick access in emergency situations which I think is a really good idea now Harry you don't have a bed either who's starving why is there low food? Who's cooking? Who's cooking? I don't know who's cooking. Catalina's meant to be. Solar generator has broken down. No! That's okay. Someone will fix that. I know they will. We've got plenty of car uh, components. We have like 31 of them. Uh, Catalina is making some meals, so that's cool. Oh, what's going on? A large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. Your colonists can feel it in the back of their mind. We must have an onboard AI persona with psychic projection ability, and the AI is not friendly. Destroy it as soon as possible. Ah, uh, here's our ship. That's a horrible psychic ship. I hate them. I hate them so much. Okay, well, that will probably be something for next episode. Because I just want to do a few things around the base for them, just for now. Before I potentially lose anybody else. I don't have any sniper rifles at the moment. It's all just survival rifles. And I don't know what's going to come out of that ship. Uh. And maybe we'll be able to persuade some of these uh, prisoners to come over. You never know, it might happen. Do you have any spare survival rifles? So we... There was one somewhere from uh, the prisoners. Yes, there was. Uh, Marrow. Maybe you could get one of those instead. Was a pump shotgun. Oh, I don't know about that. 
Neri, you're a brawler. I think that's why you still have a Gladius, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, we are on low food now instead of no food, so that's always good. We had, like, tons of food, but it was all just sat on the fields. Marrow, keep going. Keep trying to recruit. We'll do it eventually. I don't really know how you're doing that while you're in bed, but oh well. Okay, what's everyone doing? Resting. Well, do you know what? I want you to work on that. I want I want that not to be outside because even if these are joined together, they'll still be roofed. I don't like it being an outdoor area. Ah, oh, right. Yes, yeah, as soon as that happened, these became indoor areas and they became roofed. So I'm very happy with that. Hopefully this corridor will be done soon. Oh, you're making really good progress on it, guys. I'm impressed. Prison break! Oh, they got out. They got trapped. No. Too many prisoners. Come on. Take her down. That's a cracked jaw, that's annoying. Are you dead? Oh no! Two dead prisoners. We just have to keep working on Takoi. Do you know what though? At least we get our beds back. That sucks. Harry, do you want a bed? I don't think you have one. And uh, Strumvex could have one, maybe. That totes sucks. And Catalina's all hurt now as well. So we have to make that back into a medical bed. Catalina can go and sleep in it. Every time I think I'm getting a little bit of luck in this game, I'm just like, no, no luck for you. No luck for you at all. You're not allowed luck. That's for people who are good at this game. Not for you. Mind you, people who are good at this game play on a, a higher difficulty and that actually probably means they have even less luck than I do. But hey, the traps worked. Come on to Koi. You know you want to come across to us. I don't know why they were so unhappy. They had nice rooms and everything. And they had a warden, almost a warden each. So, I don't get it. I don't know if it was just that they were unhappy or just that there was a few of them and they were in close proximity and maybe need to spread the prisoners out a little bit more. I'm not sure. But do you know what? Out of all of them, um, I think Dekoi was one of the easiest ones to recruit. So actually, that might be okay. Oh no! Mad animals. Okay, let's make sure everyone is restricted to home. And let's also make sure that home is not a stupid outside area where someone's just going to get trapped or anything like that. This all this all needs to be home. As does all this. Okay. I'm frustrated that there was a prison break. It might have been caused by the psychic ship actually, because if the prisoners were really unhappy because of the psychic ship, then that would cause the prison break. Unfortunately we have lots of very angry I'm just going to check that our little boomalope is alright. Yeah.
But these guys, not. They are man-hunting evil boomerlopes. And I do not want them anywhere near my colonists. Oh my goodness me. There's nothing as frightening as an angry, scary... Oh, okay, they're just going out there. It's fine. An angry, scary... Horrible boomerlope. Fortunately, we have doors. See, because what I'll probably do is if I want to entice people up here, I'll hold the door open. That way, if animals are coming around, I can seal the base off rather than having a full on gap there. I'm so disappointed that my prisoners got all annoyed and ran away. Bye bye, prisoners. Hey, that room's finally done. Yes, good stuff. Well done, Nia. Okay, so how's everyone feeling at the moment? Are you fairly content considering that you're in pain and there's a psychic drone and all this sort of thing? Probably because you got married. Um, some other people not quite as content, neutral, stressed out. Lots of corpses and things around. Low expectations. Sleeping sickness. Who's got that? Strumfex. I believe that just means that you need to be treated every so often and that you get a bit tired. Oh, poor thing. You've got sleeping sickness and sensory mechanites all at the same time. No! Oh, I hate that there's corpses everywhere. I really want that stupid... Research the crematorium already. Strumfax is in a poor mood. And needs treatment. Oh, Strumfax, what have you done? Where are you? Oh, you're just inside. Okay, that's fine. It's just your sleeping sickness. I worried because there were they, you know, there's man eating boomalopes outside. That is always a worry. And there was a weird noise, but it was just near making the floor. To call you get a nicely floored room now. Yay! With a funny patch under the flower pot. I'll have to fix that. Oh, I think that's actually due to be fixed. But it's all looking a lot nicer now. Come on, Maru. Let's get to talk to Koi on our side. We can do it. We can do this thing. 5% chance. We can do a 5% chance. Oh, the animal pen's getting made. Nice. Very, very nice. There must be some of the trees from here are getting actually... Yeah, they are. Nice one. Now we just need some animals that aren't mad. Yay! Yes. Well done. I don't even care about the other two that escaped. That's fantastic news. Well, you can have a bed in that room. It will remind you of your days as a prisoner, which may be not ideal. I do need to make a double bed for um, our married people. We can do that at some point. I don't know, I think we need a slightly different shaped room for a married bedroom um, because the double bed takes a slightly different um, amount of space up so I don't know about that hmm I have to think about that maybe like off one of these corridors we can do like a nice room for them or something so I'm gonna start filling this in a little bit now so the idea would be we'd have a slate wall there Slate wall there, slate wall there. And then we would have a slate door. And that would be sort of an entrance to our base. Um, and then we would start having little rooms. Oh, stop driving the animals mad because then I can't get past you. Stupid ship. Some psychic drone level of medium as well. We're going to have to do something about this very soon. Let's have a quick look at Tokoi's um, 
work permissions and then I'll end the episode and then I think next episode we're going to get ready and go and fight that psychic ship and hope it's not a scyther. I hate scythers. They suck. You can doctor at a level of three. Three, three, eleven, four. Oh, you're as good as anyone else, I suppose. I'll put them down to a priority of three. Catalina can do a bit of backup doctoring. In fact, even four. No, Strumfex, you can do a bit more because you have a, an interest in it and you might learn a bit quicker. Time to be one. Animal handling, any good at that? Not really. Cooking, quite good at that. Not as good as Catalina, though. So you can do that as a bit of a priority ish. Hunting, eight and a half. Hmm, I'm shooting. You're a decent shooter then. Construction of eight. Ah, yes, please. Construction on the way. Repairing eight. You can do that as a priority. Growing four. I do that sometimes. Mining one. Three. Four. Well, you can plant cut at a three because that goes with your growing. Tailoring us a four. There are better tailors in the camp. Three, three. Yeah, that'll do. You'll be mostly a constructor, I would say. But I'm particularly interested in how good you are at shooting. You seem to be reasonable, so... I'm thinking that'll be good. Um... Let's just have a little look at you. Character. Shooting seven, straight off the bat. Pretty skilled at it already. Do we have any pistols or anything half decent range? Probably not. Spears and things like that. Bows. What's the range on a bow? Range of 32. Right, let's see the pump shotgun. What range do you have? A bit more of a... damage and everything like that. And a range of 16. So it's a very short range compared to a bow. But hey, you can have it anyway. Better than nothing. Okay, so everybody's happy, everybody's in a good place at the moment. Need a bit more silver to finish off the hospital, but uh, you know, we can get that soon, hopefully. There's a chance we might be able to get an AI Persona Core in the next episode, which might be useful. We've got frag grenades there. Now, one thing that we can do is build around this ship. More plasteel there. That is good. We've actually got quite a lot on our map. So we can use the terrain a bit to our advantage. Um, we can hide behind certain bits of wall. Or we can all just try and take on whatever this is, you know, very, very quickly and hope we can get to it before it gets to us. That's kind of a bit of a risk. I don't know. I really don't know how that's going to go, unfortunately. But we'll see. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. That's to worry about next episode. That's in the future. We don't have to worry about that now. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you liked the episode. And if you did, then please leave me a like in the comment section below. And if you want to see how we do against the psychic ship, uh, then you can subscribe to the channel and I can let you know when that episode is out. I hope to see you all next time, but in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.